PR Jackson SSENYONGA, Here's How I Got to Be Involved in KNJA Sodomy Story Mulengara News.com, by Mulengara, November 24, 2023 at 8.54 p.m. by Isaac Wandubal. Pastor Jackson Zenyonga of Christian Life Church has decried what he deems, denied justice, for a group of nine young men, who came out accusing fellow pastor Robert Kayanja of sodomy. Zenyonga, says the young men, who are currently facing charges related to tarnishing Pastor Kayanja's name and criminal trespass, have deliberately been denied justice. And while some of them might have made mistakes in their pursuit of justice, Zenyonga says the decision by the DDP to ignore their original claims about being sexually assaulted by Kayanja was wrong. It is important for the DPP to know that some of the boys are insisting that they were actually sodomized and deserve to be heard, Zenyonga told the press on Friday. In my humble view, it is important that justice is not only done but seen to be done and this can only be achieved if the complaints by both sides and not merely one side are given serious consideration. The accused young men, most of whom have been released on court bail, worked for Pastor Kayanja from the mid-2010s, some on his upcountry farm and others on his security team. Around 2021, Zenyonga says some of the boys approached him claiming that they had been sodomized by Pastor Kayanja. The said boys young men gave graphic details of what they say transpired, of how they were recruited, lured with money and promises of a better life and subsequently sodomized, he said. They showed me WhatsApp communication between one of them with Pastor Robert Kayanja whose mobile number I knew. In the said WhatsApp messages the boys young men alleged that Pastor Kayanja had sodomized them, that they were injured as a result and required treatment and demanded money from them. Zenyonga says he did not initially treat the allegations as true, even though some of their evidence was very compelling, and decided instead to reach out to his Rubaga counterpart. I accordingly engaged a few civic and spiritual leaders with close contact with him and requested a meeting involving him, me and the said leaders but he avoided such a meeting. Instead, when he refused and or failed to attend a meeting on the subject, I, in October 2021, sent him a letter which I also sent to him via WhatsApp on his phone indicating that I did not believe the boys and imploring him on the need to meet, discuss and resolve this issue internally by a few leaders in the body of Christ. I was, however, shocked to learn that instead of meeting me as a brother who had in good faith contacted him privately, he had initiated a criminal complaint against me alleging that I had conspired with some boys, young men to tarnish his image and or defame him. This criminal case was later to be investigated and dropped by the DPP for lacking merit. Zenyang says, however, that he was dismayed when they learnt that the same DPP had arrested the young men for criminal trespass. Unfortunately, the DPP has opted to prosecute the boys, young men for allegedly tarnishing Pastor Kayanja's name and for criminal trespass but has decided to close the complaint by the boys against Pastor Kayanja who they accuse of sodomizing them, he added.